Prost. Das ist es. My name is Martijn Lammers. Uh, I'm from Eindhoven University of Technology. Behind me are the three solar cars that are built by all the technical universities in Holland. So in 2013, we from the solar team Eindhoven joined the solar challenge in the cruiser class with a practical car we call Stella. It's the first solar powered family car. The solar challenge is a, is a race to Australia from Darwin to Adelaide. It's about 3000 kilometers. We drive every day from 8 till 5. During that race, we can charge from the grid only once and the rest of the energy has to come from solar power. With Stella, we won the solar challenge in the cruiser class. Stella has uh, solar uh, panels on the roof, which means it, it can charge while it's driving, but also when it's standing still. In a climate like, uh, like in Northern Europe, it would collect more energy than you, than you use in the normal daily uh, commuting for 10 out of the 12 months in a year. So that means it's energy positive and it could um, feed energy back to your home and you could, for example, use your washing machine on the power you gathered with your car. It's very much like a normal car, it can reach up to 120 kilometers an hour in good sun conditions and with the, with the battery charge can travel for about 700 kilometers. It's very much optimized for weight and aerodynamics and of course being in, this, in the cruiser class we also build a car that's practical, it fits four persons. It's, it's a car that you can just get in and uh, drive away. It's intuitive and it's, it's very much like the car you own uh, at home. I think solar power in general is a realistic way of gathering energy because there's, there's so much energy from the sun that's not being used. It's not yet realistic in the sense that it's still quite expensive to build, but uh, we think that in uh, about 30 years, solar cars could be a real, realistic way of transportation and that actually people have a solar car on their, uh, on their driveway.